Here's a really good polynomial question. Suppose the result of dividing one polynomial by another is this expression right here. What two polynomials might have been divided? So we're gonna reverse engineer this. And the first place you wanna look at is this remainder right here. This is actually the remainder of the quotient. The denominator of that is going to represent your divisor. So that's actually one of the answers that usually goes outside right here when you do long division of polynomials. Then we're given the quotient, which is this whole thing right here. And we can write that on the top as r squared minus 6r plus 9, and the remainder is negative 1. It's only this numerator part. Now our goal is to find this dividend right here. And to find that, all we have to do is multiply our divisor with our quotient, and we will get the other polynomial that was divided. So let's go ahead and set that up r minus 3, and I'm going to times it to r squared minus 6r plus 9. But I'm not going to put negative 1 in that parentheses because that's a remainder. We're just going to put that on the side and put minus 1. So let's go ahead and distribute this. And here's how I like to distribute. We're going to start with that first term r, and I'm going to multiply it to the three terms in this trinomial right here. r times r squared is r cubed. Then I'm going to have negative 6r squared plus 9r. And then I'm going to start in the second term of that first parentheses, negative 3, and I'm going to multiply that to the trinomial once again. I like to combine like terms vertically like this because it's easier to combine like terms later. Now I got negative 3 times negative 6r. Watch your negative signs. That's going to be positive 18r, and negative 3 times 9 is negative 27. Do not forget your remainder, negative 1. And all we got to do from here is combine like terms, and I get r cubed minus 9r squared plus 27r. Negative 27 minus 1 is negative 28. That is going to represent my dividend. So my two answers are r minus 3 and r cubed minus 9r squared plus 27r minus 28. That's a really good question. Hope it helped. Like and subscribe and I'll see you on the next episode. Peace.